CBS News Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Begays is in Washington and CBS News senior national security analyst Juan Zarate joins us by phone. Jeff, let's start with you. Uh, what all do we know here? Well, we don't have an awful lot uh, besides what you heard there from Clapper. What we're hearing from law enforcement sources is there's no indication right now of anything major against these campaigns. We know that the group Anonymous has claimed in the past, really a couple of months ago, that it had hacked into Donald Trump's accounts. It's not clear whether that's true or not. Uh, but clearly, according to law enforcement officials, uh, this is the trend. They are dealing with more and more cases of cyber attacks and uh, it is conceivable now that uh, these campaigns will be the target of hackers and that's why you heard Clapper there mentioning uh, the fact that the campaigns are working with uh, DHS and FBI on how to counter that activity. Juan, you know, you were once in the White House, you know how difficult it is. These hackers try to get at everything from Pentagon information to White House to national security. So what are they trying to obtain when they're trying to hack into presidential campaigns? I think part of the challenge here for the campaigns and anyone in government is is that you have a variety of actors trying to get at any and all information. Everything from very sophisticated actors, state actors like the Chinese and the Russians, uh, even the Iranians who are developing these kinds of capabilities, uh, to the hacktivists. And as Jeff mentioned, uh, groups like Anonymous that may have political or other interests at play, uh, in addition to criminals who are just trying to get access to uh, valuable data or even the ability to access systems that will give them the ability to profit. And so you have a full variety and, and spectrum of actors that are trying to use cyber tools to attack. And certainly with the Chinese and the Russians, we know that they're trying to acquire as much data as they can to understand the decision making uh, going on within the government and certainly the decision making uh, that's beginning to form and formulate how these new uh, new teams and the candidates are thinking about foreign policy. Uh, they try to suck up as much information as possible, uh, and that starts before they get into the White House. Jeff, uh, are you hearing from your sources there are any indications of the types of conversations federal authorities are having with these campaigns to try and strengthen their cybersecurity? Well, it's the same type of conversation that uh, law enforcement is having with private businesses, the private sector in general. And this is a conversation that I know the FBI has uh, tried to have with uh, businesses over the last couple of years. What they're trying to do is uh, increase communication between companies uh, and now campaigns, uh, because frankly, law enforcement wants to know when uh, these attempted incidents happen. Um, so this has been a concern for law enforcement for some time now. Depending on what agency you speak with, they will tell you that these types of cyber attacks, these uh, attempts by hackers to get in, uh, is a major concern, if not the primary concern for these some of these law enforcement agencies. And Juan, we know it's not just foreign hackers. In fact, we know Anonymous at one point threatened total war against Donald Trump. How do they protect themselves? We know that they're getting some guidance from the FBI, as we discussed. But is there anything else campaigns can do to prevent something like this from happening, a major cyber breach? I think it's difficult when you have sophisticated actors uh, trying with concerted campaigns to get access and, and to try to at least disrupt, if not get uh, access to data, but at a minimum, they can start, as Jeff indicated, with cyber hygiene, uh, making sure that everyone on the campaign staff understands uh, that phishing campaigns, uh, DDoS attacks, and other things are going to be happening, and that they have a responsibility to secure their systems. Another thing that's interesting, though, in this report that came out of the DNI is it's not just cyber attacks that have increased over the last two electoral cycles uh, for, the, for the presidency. It's been a concerted campaign by uh, what appears to be nation state actors to, uh, to contact and get access to information via human sources. And so part of the discussion uh, being had from the FBI and DHS might be a counterintelligence discussion in addition to a cyber hygiene and cyber security um, uh, discussion. That's very important because uh, campaigns are open environments. Uh, and they have to realize that they may be targets of espionage and infiltration in human form as well as online. Jeff Pegues and Juan Zarate, we thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.